how would you go from this to this? Now, there's more than one way to do this, but the approach that we would typically take is called retrosynthesis, where we work backwards from our product to figure out how we got there. So we're ending with a carboxylic acid. And the key thing to notice is between our starting material, ethane, and our final product, propanoic acid, we have one extra carbon in our chain. And one of the key ways that we can extend our carbon chain is using a nitrile. So this most likely came from propana nitrile or propane nitrile, depending on how you want to say it. And we get from nitriles to carboxylic acids through hydrolysis. So using acid and water. So now the question is, how did we get this nitrile group on there? This could have come from nucleophilic substitution with a halogeno alkane. Specifically here, I'm choosing chloro ethane for reasons that will become clear later. And so we would react that with potassium cyanide. And so how do we get the chloro group onto our alkane? Well, to get from an alkane to a halogeno alkane, we can do free radical substitution that would require chlorine in the presence of UV light. So this is how I did it. How would you do it? Follow me for more chemistry content like this.